A lot of questions and concerns. Will the next attack on America come from one of our own? Joining us now is John Batchelor, host of the John Batchelor Show, which can be heard on ABC Radio weeknights at 9 p.m. Monday through uh, Sunday, every single night of the week. Uh, John, good morning. Good morning, Aaron. You know, it is astounding. Uh, Americans apparently joining Al Qaeda. Is this the latest pattern? And do you think at one point they'll be successful? I think this is very serious, very serious. Muhammad Atta, the man that started all of this, the attack on the World Trade Center, was a kook. He ate potatoes. He kept the fork in the refrigerator at night. Nobody regarded him as anything but ineffective. And we see that he, he recovered his life with an act of violence. So this foolish woman in Pennsylvania who yelled at cats and this very sad case of a woman who takes her child to Ireland and is now released, all of that looks foolish. And yet one act of violence makes them look like conspirators. I think that the the U.S. attorney in Philadelphia has moved effectively, and I think that all of the law enforcement in Ireland is to be congratulated. You know, the woman, uh, Pauline Ramirez, her son, six years old, his name was Christian, and the reports say that she changed the name to Walid, a, a Muslim name, and then the, the young child was telling the grandmother that Christians will burn in hellfire. I mean, we've got this indoctrination going on. Look at the case of Naj Najibullah Zazi here in New York. He's 25 years old. He has admitted that he attended al an al-Qaeda training camp in Pakistan. He says he went with two of his high school friends. How is al-Qaeda apparently recruiting these people on the internet uh, as this seems to grow? Every week we get new names of Americans. This is the social networking al-Qaeda. Uh, Ten years ago you couldn't friend Muhammad Atta. Now you can friend Jihad Jain or Fatima Rose, she called herself. What we have here are people using the tools that uh, create environments that are conducive to taking them to Pakistan. We had five Americans arrested on their way to the camps somewhere in Waziristan. What, what needs to happen now is for moms and dads to pay a whole lot of attention to how they're using Facebook, how they're using IM and YouTube. Or the other thing to be done is to make sure that everybody understands that once you're caught, you're right, your life is wrecked and your mother's life is wrecked. Well, apparently that message isn't getting through yet because we've been getting uh, I increased uh, incidences of these. I like what's happening here, Eric. I like the folly of Jihad Jain. I like the folly of these characters who gather in Ireland. I mean, what we see here is an Algerian, a Libyan, a Palestinian. It's, uh, what, it's a Star Wars pub in Ireland they're holding together, but they're not minor figures. Europe has to deal with this. Europe is overrun with, uh, in, uh, with immigrants from uh, the Ummah, and they must deal with them in a way that is effective. I like the fact that the FBI is working with the Irish police. This is a good, net, this is a good example of networking. Remember we talked about in the, the young man in London who was busted about a year and a half ago, and he was involved, Irhad 007, he called himself. That was another example of the Internet bringing in violent characters who raise money and create an atmosphere that other people can join in. One act of violence, these people believe, vindicates their lives. It does not. And one final point, Adam Gadon this past week, we have a quote from him. He is the American, the so-called Taliban spokesman. This is what scares me. He talks about small attacks, not a, not a World Trade Center attack. Even apparently unsuccessful attacks on Western mass transportation systems can bring major cities to a halt, he says. Cost the enemy, that's us, billions and send his corporations into bankruptcy. John, it doesn't seem a far fetch to get one person on the internet uh, they, they've been caught so far, but just it, all it does is take one to do something, and Al Qaeda can claim a success. Al Leaky, born in New Mexico, educated in Colorado, now hiding in Yemen. He rec he recruited Hassan, who killed Americans. Yes, you're right, Eric. And Adam Gadan, real name Perlman, he's a punk. We'll kill him. John Batchelor, uh, with some blunt words for Adam Gadan, as we watched for the uh, potential of Americans who join Al-Qaeda. John, thank you. His show, thank weeknights you. on ABC Radio. Jamie?